Here is a list of the movies I watched in the month of February. I shall talk about them individually starting now. The first movie I watched was Zombie 3, also known as Zombie Flesh Eaters 2, as in the sequel to Zombie, which was also known as Zombie Flesh Eaters, which was a ripoff of Dawn of the Dead. I'm getting way ahead of myself. This was a combined effort between Lucio Fulci, Bruno Mattai, and Claudio Fergasso, and it came out pretty kick-ass. The second movie I watched was Critters 3. This was Leonardo DiCaprio's debut film, and a lot of people give it a bad rap but I rather enjoyed it. Hell, I like all the Critters movies. The third movie I watched was Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. Yeah, it's pretty entertaining, and the characters are distinguishable, and even likable, most of them. It's still one of the weaker Godzilla films, especially in the Showa era. A giant shrimp vs. Godzilla. Just no. The fourth movie I watched was Deathgasm! Deathgasm was so freaking awesome. I fucking loved this movie. I cannot wait to review it. The fifth movie I watched was Red, Werewolf Hunter. This was a decent little sci-fi channel film. It had okay-ish acting, some decent effects, and a cool story. The sixth movie I watched was Son of Godzilla. This is a wacky, bonkers little movie, and I really enjoyed it. The seventh movie I watched was Destroy All Monsters, one of the most iconic show Godzilla films, but it is not that great to me. There's not enough action, there's too much story, and the aliens taking over the world plot has been done so much by this point that it has become stale. Still, it's a decent movie, I cannot lie. The eighth movie I watched was Godzilla's Revenge. The worst Godzilla movie ever? Yeah, I think so. The ninth movie I watched was Doll. This is a great creepy little horror film. I loved it. The tenth movie I watched was Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster. This is such a weird yet entertaining movie. Everything about it is so psychedelic and hippie-like that it's just wow. The eleventh movie I watched was Godzilla vs. Gigan. Gigan is a really cool monster, even though it's just a chicken with clawed hands. It is still a worthy foe against Godzilla. The twelfth movie I watched is We Are Still Here. This was a great movie. The last fifteen minutes are the best of out of all the movie. And the movie was good enough on its own. So that last fifteen minutes was so awesome. The thirteenth movie I watched twice in a row, so I could review it. But I ended up not reviewing it because I ran out of time. That is Uncle Sam. This was a really good film from the director of Maniac and the Maniac Cop Trilogy. The 14th movie I watched was Jurassic World. This is probably one of the best movies of 2015 in my opinion. It is such a fun watch. Everyone's trying to dissect it when they're like, oh, it's supposed to be a grand epic movie. No, it's a popcorn movie. Deal with it. The 15th movie I watched was Scanners. This is a classic movie from David Cronenberg. I love it so much and its sequels are pretty good too. The 16th movie I watched was Embedded. It is an awesome movie with a Muppets-like Bigfoot in it. That it looks seriously freaky. The 17th movie I watched was Watchers Reborn. This is probably the weakest out of the whole entire franchise, but it's still a decent watch. Mark Hamill is great in it, and the monster is awesome. The 18th movie I watched was Unnatural. Unnatural is one of the best killer bear films I've ever seen. I rank it up there with the five best, even though there's not much more than five. It is still a really good movie. The 19th movie I watched was Reanimator. One of my favorite 80s horror movies. Not as good as The Evil Dead, but it is still so classic. The 20th movie I watched was Scanners 2, The New Order. A very good follow-up. It is cheesy, but I still enjoy it. The 21st movie I watched was It Follows. I finally got around to watching this movie, and I loved it. I loved it so much. The 22nd movie I watched was Suspiria. This is a classic, creepy, spooky, scary film from the 1970s. 70s. Dario Argento did a super job on this film. The 23rd movie I watched was Scanners 3, The Takeover. This is the cheesiest one I've seen. I have not seen Scanner Cop 1 and 2, but I still think this is probably going to be cheesier than those movies ever will be. But I still don't know because I haven't seen them. But this is still a really fun movie. Not as good as the other two, but it still has a lot of good merits. The 24th movie I watched was Inferno, the sequel to Suspiria. Not as good as 
was the first, but it was still a fun movie to watch. The 25th movie I watched was Chud 2. Bud. The Chud. Oh boy. This movie. It's not like the first one at all. But I enjoyed it. It wasn't the worst movie I've ever seen, but it still could have been better. The 26th movie I watched was The Dead Next Door. One of the best zombie movies of the 80s, in my opinion. I should say late 80s, that is. It is so low budget, yet they did so much with it. It is bad and cheesy in all the right ways. The 27th movie I watched was Zombieland. Oh, Zombieland. I watched it with my brother and his girlfriend. She had never seen it before. We all had a good time watching it. Of course we did, it's Zombieland. The 28th movie I watched was Godzilla vs. Megalon. Eh, that's okay. Not as good as Godzilla vs. Gigan, but for all intensive purposes, it was alright. The 29th movie I watched was Sharks' Treasure. This was an interesting little film. It has the guy who played Parker in Alien and Doc in Freddy's Dead The Final Nightmare, and it, the rest of the cast did a good job as well. Not much shark action, though. And finally, the 30th movie I watched was Turbo Kid. I had to end off the month with a bane. This movie, this movie was pure genius. I loved it so much. It is one of my favorite movies of the 2010s. Let's just say that. And that is it. Tune in in April for the March list. Lion Brain Gatto, host of horror show movie reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below and leave comments and subscribe. Bye.